Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will see how to use Sitawi with Word. For a better understanding, I have prepared a small presentation. In this presentation, we will see the Sitawi workflow and later on, we will move on to actual demo. For a typical thesis or a report, generally one need source, source of data. And this source can be multiple things, which we will see in the next slide as well. So from this source of data, we actually make our thesis or the reports. And this source of data, we can directly import in this uh, Sidavi and while importing in Sidavi this will take your all the references you don't need to worry about the references and later on at the end this Sidavi can be directly used with Microsoft Word since there is an add-on in which you can directly import the data so why use Sidavi since uh, for like my personal suggestion uh, when I was writing my thesis uh, I started writing the thesis with day one like whatever I think okay this might help in my thesis I just note it down in the Sitavi whether I use it or not that's the secondary question but since you have a large number of data since I am writing from day one so at the end for formatting you will require only hardly two to three days maybe less who knows but this can save you a lot of time there is also one more benefit if you write it in uh, Sitavi and you have a license license version for German University is giving the free license to each and every student so one can use but without license also one can import up to 100 citation and I think 100 citation is a lot since you won't require that much in your any report or maybe in a thesis that depends totally but yeah overall you can save your Sitavi with the license version in the cloud so you don't have to worry about okay my data will be be vanish or might something happen with your computer but you are all safe so that, that is the benefit so now I have opened a new Citavi project a demo project uh, and I am using a license for this but as I told earlier uh, if you are having less than yeah if you don't have a license then it is not a big issue uh, actually in the Citavi this are the main three tabs which you will be using throughout your a report and tasks are the typical deadlines or the milestone which you will be doing in the future and uh, you will be noting down here uh, for example introduction and you want to you would like to finish it uh, at the end of the next month yeah just given roughly and date and yeah just okay and if you started or not yeah this would keep a good track of your whole thesis I would personally suggest that one should use this because this task will keep you your thesis on the track use it up to up to certain level after that the second tab is a knowledge tab in this knowledge tab you can see nothing but uh, when you add something for example a new category introduction then you want to add an another chapter for example motor and here the chapter will goes on and uh, uh, this is how you add in category and inside of this category you can add stuff in the importing section as well but yeah just mentioning that here when you click then here will come some preview as well and these are the typical references which your project has been linked with So for example, uh, you find this definition good and you want to add it in your report. Then you simply select it. Uh, yeah, since uh, while installing, Davi has already added a Citavi Picker extension in your browser. When you right click it and here will come add reference and uh, add selection. So you have to do it as quotation. So when you do it as in quotation, then this stuff will be added uh, like a window will pop up just and just you have to wait for a while and now okay here it comes that Sidavi Picker has imported it and here is the pop-up window which I was searching for <laughs> and yeah this is the text which you want to import and uh, this is the core statement where suppose for example you want you want to remember as an electric motor definition 
so after doing this you have an also an field called category in this category you can assign like the category which we made in the CTAB program which are uh, now introduction and motor you can write intro and it will pop up and also you can create a new one by clicking three and it will create a category for you and for example now we will add it in the category number two that is motor and yeah you can also simultaneously in two category it is not an problem so this is how you add it and you can also add a photo also add reference and add selection as an image quotation when you do this it will come come wait yeah now it is here uh, <laughs> so electric motor okay maybe and you want to also import this in the second one which is the motor so okay and now when you go in the sitavi here you have in the bracket 2 so you have assigned this to the motor category here is the more preview when you drag this here comes with the actual matter and with the reference same for, goes for the pic, picture and if you now you go in the reference then there are two references from the internet which you have taken and and you can here individually edit it and you can make your changes as you want and now I would like to show you how to do it with the PDF. Generally, you can import the content from PDF file with the help of Adobe Reader in the same manner which I showed you with the web pages. But importing with Adobe Reader would not import the citation. So in order to import the citation, you need to import the file in the project. So here I will import a PDF file. Mm, yeah, you can also import a folder, but that's pretty much clear. So here I will literature and maybe the first one. Yeah. Now, uh, okay, this is the second screen. Now uh, this window will pop up and it is trying to figure it out from the internet, which uh, like the title and the year and who has written it, blah, blah, blah. So just click it and add to project keywords. Yeah. When you do it this way, then uh, in the reference, the third will pop up and with all the information you require for the citation is imported. And here is the pin sign, which means uh, that is an attachment. And uh, now if you want something from this PDF file, then yeah, you can after, in the preview, you can make it full screen for a better, for better viewing. And now you can read it comfortably. And now, for example, you want this text to be imported in your project, then add to quotation, simple, and you give, okay, I leave it as it is, and make a third category, which is med, for example. Press okay, and it is being imported. Now, when you come again, anytime, then this text will be shown in this uh, in the highlighted manner since it is imported once in your project and where it is imported now now it is showing it is in direct quotation and like this is the summary of the text this is how you take from the pdf and as always it will come here with the text with the references so after importing the data from web pages or a pdf file we can also import our own ideas and that is one of the most important thing in the thesis or the report. So here as you can see there is a thought and there are two options one is text and one is image. Uh, yeah test is pretty, pretty much simple you want to add something some text of your own I'm just uh, copy pasting some text and I will keep the core statement uh, the same and since I have selected here the motor so here the category will be motor but you can also always change by clicking on the category and you can change okay you can say okay or in all three okay okay and uh, it will be added in your all the three categories which you have selected and in the similar fashion you can also import the image and that is not very difficult yeah you can add the image directly and that is how you import your own image now I have opened a old project from my masters uh, and as you can see there are some citations and some of the knowledge database 
and these are the chapters which I did originally and I have also a roughly I have made in plan and later at the end I was not following it but it's fine <laughs> so yeah now uh, if you like this will be your typical structure in your thesis report or project report as well yeah these are my sub chapters but uh, uh, okay if you think okay this you want as a sub chapter then you can obviously do that you have a full flexibility to move it around and you don't have to worry about uh, anything else not really much and uh, yeah in in each and every tab for example here accelerometer here there are four contents and yeah you can see the content which I marked it for later referencing it so uh, this is a typical project now I would like to go in word and show you how one can import this thing and use Citavi database to write and report so currently I have opened a new word file and now as you can see uh, there is a Citavi tab uh, where you go and there is a Citavi panel and on that when you click it shows okay which are the project uh, in your Citavi and uh, now uh, the open project are shown at the first and uh, if if the project is not open then it will when you click uh, on here then it will open for you but the best practice is, is to always open the project in the background so I have opened the science project and now it is here yeah, and the foremost thing is to change the citation style uh, when using at first you must change this uh, to your accordance there are lots of I think like there is a whole list of database which you want to use but for um, different languages subject areas for a typical scientific project we use generally IEEE access so I will select it for my project and you have to do it only once and I think later you also you can change it if you want but it is better to select do it at first now here comes this reference knowledge we, uh, this two tab were same which we had in the original program for this knowledge tab we go here and now we want to import the things that into our word document so like Typically for a heading, what we can do is go directly in the category and we can, yeah, yeah, if you, if you don't uncheck this uh, knowledge item, then it will add each and everything. I will just show you then you have a better idea. Yeah, uh, like all category. No, I will do it for one. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it for all. Not an issue. So now it is more or less generating the report for you, but uh, this is not the way uh, anyone writes in the actual thesis since uh, like you are quoting the same thing from a uh, original reference and that is not the way one write in the thesis you you have to write it on uh, on your own but now as you can see like according to my data which I have feeded in the SIDA way it has generated a report for me so like yeah at the end also you can see the references how I wanted like everything is being automatically imported I don't have to worry about this ordering this thing and uh, I can also open the navigation panel yeah this would yeah go first okay and uh, yeah no one would do this so I would yeah now uncheck it okay perfect <laughs> Now, uh, generally, what you want to do is uh, is to only import this uh, one, two, three, and the subheadings from Citavi as in the Word file. So, what you can do is uncheck this thing and all categories. So, it will come with your whole list as you can see in the navigation panel, and uh, you can link this as in your chapter number. This one, perfect. So, uh, as you wanted and now you can import directly the stuff you wish to uh, yeah for example this thing and it takes the caption automatically and 
yeah everything is being done very smoothly and uh, um, I have previously made videos um, like for the styles but if you want me to make a video for detail structuring like how to now go ahead and do the structuring in the best way then please leave the comment below and I will make it for you. Yeah, and, and there are uh, seriously a lot of tips which might help you from table of content to everything. There is so many things to go on, but this video will be long if we take each and everything. So yeah, here we end our video. Thank you for watching the video.